friends, Natasha with Natasha Scrabble Corner and today I'm coming to you with the finished project uh, that is an Alice in Wonderland mini plus jumbo tag uh, uh, swap, one-on-one -on -one swap. Uh, it's in um, uh, Golden, I think it's on a Facebook. Uh, I'll pop the link below. Uh, so uh, uh, it's a gold pro loaded envelope event uh, so we were supposed to create um, a jumbo tag what, uh, what was um, the size is three and a half by eight and a half very odd uh, very odd um, size it's like lawn um, then we were supposed to create a, a mini four by six envelope and it's supposed to have two pockets and plus more. Uh, one envelope with tag stickers and little things. Uh, jumbo tag to fit in a larger pocket. Uh, one altered paper clip, one wand, and five embellishments. Must have two Alice in Wonderland inspired images and five uh, die cuts. So. Uh, let's get started um, okay so and everything uh, of course must be packaged very nicely so uh, this is the uh, jumbo uh, metal heart uh, uh, cap that um, I printed out the image of the queen and I uh, put her down and I glossy accented her and I sprinkle uh, the uh, red glitter uh, around her and it that's the original packaging so basically what I did I just put a little embellishments here and there with the roses so and I recycled that I peeled the sticker and I used the note uh, for the back so the recipient can uh, reuse that and the back again I just uh, use my scraps and I put this I cannot read probably hold on uh, begin at the beginning and go until you come to the end then stop Alice in Wonderland Booze Carol this is impossible only if you think it is okay so uh, that's embellishment number one and it's gonna be random you know I'm gonna try to you know try to show you everything but um, so anyway so that's embellishment number one um, this is uh, the set of embellishments resin pieces so uh, this is um, NSK tea party um, mold so and this so this for the teapot uh, clock teacup and the cupcake they are all from one mold um, this is my personal uh, stash uh, mold and I did lots of interesting mixed media things on that uh, the playing cards, uh, NSK has the last mold left with the playing cards, so you better grab it. And this uh, white half-painted rose. And on the back, I made the 100% handmade um, embellishment from resin. And that is, again, NSK mold. So... Uh, I mean in here it's already so many embellishments so but I did extra um, then I altered a wooden uh, clip it had the um, canvas on top of it but I um, adhered epsilon and glossy accented him so he's smoking and I sugar coated the whole uh, paper clip all the way around 
um, and I put an SK um, um, resin flowers in there okay and that's um, embellishment one two three putting them aside here three um, then um, I did a little uh, um, box okay little box and use the yarn to create the um, the um, it goes around so um, yeah it's um, looks like this so it um, actually uh, the yarn excuse me I'm trying to find words um, goes um, underneath of this em embellishment okay and the little tag drink me and the box opens up like that okay and in here I got extra tags eat me drink me um, and I altered a domino piece Using the micro beads and putting um, like the uh, resin flower in here, so yeah, <clears throat> and it all closes like that, and um, then I just wrap this box around like this like a you know like a gift across the bottom um, coming up going around that um, you know underneath of that um, topper and tying the uh, bow right here and I can do it Sorry, it's late and I'm trying to ship it out. Okay. So, and it's gonna look like that, like a gift box with a bowl. I thought it was so cute. Um, okay, that's that. Um, so that's embellishment number three. Um, that's the resin uh, frames that's an escape frames and I use the alcohol ink you know to um, to um, alter them so again I use the scrap of the paper to uh, create the closure and uh, so one two three four and this is five altered um, bubble cap again and I turn it into the um, close pin so she, she, and um, you know it's free floating so she can you know reuse it and again on on a bot uh, on the bottom I use uh, one of the NSK resin flowers um, let me back up because I did ask for help on resin pieces because some of the mixes didn't mix quite well and uh, some of the pieces uh, were wet for over 48 hours and um, a lot of people suggested to throw these pieces away 
um, but I'm stubborn that way and I came up with a solution and it worked it's not as pretty and glossy as you would expect uh, resin pieces to be I used gesso guys uh, simple gesso uh, several coats um, let dry in between and it seems to be sealing uh, uh, sealed the um, the um, that wet areas they're not fully wet they, they had just a little bit of wet area on the back um, and then I just uh, use distress inks to uh, color the pieces uh, this was colored with alcohol inks um, and the card it was wet partially so I did uh, the two layers of gesso and then I sprinkle the um, fine glitter and I um, uh, use the sharpie to highlight uh, the um, um, the letters you know so uh, that was a really great find on uh, you know a tip on those who asked or might have problem with the resin okay so uh, let's get to our a mini loaded envelope uh, so that's how it looks uh, a lot to take in from here and that's how it looks from that side it is truly loaded okay um, so let me offload. This is the um, paper clip, altered paper clip, and I use a lot of layers. And that's the back. So um, that's that. Um, let me turn it this way and we're gonna start because I consider that to be a front um, so in here everything is um, connected with the um, paper clip bow and um, I use the uh, um, um, digital um, image on envelopes okay and I put in here some tags you know, some from graphic 45 some printed okay Oops. so those are tags that were requested cute um, then um, just to separate the uh, two tones in here because they are so close I use one of the recollection doilies it's folded not glued so um, my um, recipient can uh, reuse that so that's that I tucked in two feathers they uh, remind me of flamingo So I die cut it uh, the um, this frame. And this is old um, die cut. I don't know the brand. So anyway, if you want to know, uh, leave the comments and I will answer. Okay. Uh, so this would be hard to pull out. So I'm gonna pull out um, once. This is one number one. I know we should have made one. So, and this is flower. I couldn't find tinier eyes, but they're googly eyes. So I just do, uh, did the cards, 
and uh, use the applique that uh, Miss Shirlene just sent me recently. Thank you, Miss Shirlene. Um, so, and on the back, that looks like this, and there is queen and flamingos and um, tassel. Um, and here is two roses. One is white with a touch of red, and there is red. So we know the story, right? I don't need to explain that. Okay. So that's that. And uh, there is main, uh, main um, jumbo um, wand. Okay, I'm going to start from the top. Of course, I put epsilon and feathers. Love that. Uh, then um, I created um, a ton of layers using the lace, the cupcake liners, then Tim Colt's rosettes and another lace. And uh, this is uh, to make your own, uh, um, you know, like hat pins. So how do you call those? Um, you know, you put uh, the image inside and you buckle it up to your shirt. You know, like a big whatever. So that's uh, that we bought uh, at um, Hobby Lobby when we were shopping with Louisa and Janet. So, and uh, I took out the white, you know, plain paper and I put this image in there, tea potty. And I added a little bit of sequins and uh, beads in there. But it's not shaking because it's so flat. So it's not shaker, but it is. So underneath I did a tea potty and uh, adhere this uh, fuzzy cut. And if we'll turn it around, it says this way. And that's the back. And I love how it came out. Um, this is uh, the Graphic 45 paper. This is the foil center from the cupcake liner. This is cupcake, cupcake liner, um, lace. And I tucked yarn everywhere so it will be connected to the theme. So I use the same yarn throughout the whole um, project. So that's that. Okay, so uh, let me turn around because um, I can probably get it out. Hold on. Hold on. It's tricky. It's very tricky. Okay, so um, in uh, Michael's you had um, just recently they were selling uh, this die cuts, all sorts of die cuts. Um, in this pack, so I, I upcycle the same package. So I put the rest of the stuff that I had in the other package, and I use this one. So I just, you know, printed out some paper, use use the scraps of paper to line it up, and I left this because that's what it says, de decorated. Okay. So, and that's for the die cuts. And uh, I printed out the image of this bunny, so I fussy cut him, so he's ready to go. And on the back, um, I tucked in some vellum envelopes, some feathers. Uh, this is another arrow wrong way. Uh, more day cuts and this flamingo, so for uh, the recipient to uh, play with it. And this is Michael's teacup. And this is graphic 45, uh, you know, tag from the Halloween in Wonderland um, collection. I'm hoarding that one. <laughs> or no. Um, okay, so um, I guess I will show you envelope. But uh, okay, well, I'll show you envelope. So um, this is uh, the uh, following Tamika's um, tutorial. Uh, how to create mini loaded envelope mini envelope and um, this is ivory uh, double um, layered uh, NSK lace it looks like this it comes in several colors 
Uh, what I do, I just gather it. Common pink and what's not. It's got hearts and stuff, so it's really cute lace. And it uh, and it's stiff enough, so it uh, you know stays fluffy like that. So I like you know because it's kind of like uh, stiff stiffer lace. It's not soft. And I use one of the NSK uh, uh, plastic trims. They come in, in different colors. This one with the green, per se, they're flat back. So um, those are very handy to have. And there is this pocket from Graphic 45 Papers. Okay, so on the other side, I uh, found, um, I had this image a while ago. I don't remember where I got it from. It has the book, you know, like big book, and she's standing and looking kind of like in the book, Alice in Wonderland. So I cut, fuzzy cut her out with the floor and everything, and um, I glittered the, you know, glittered it all. Um, um, I use the um, NSK um, resin piece and she has that blue bow on her on image but that resin uh, bow came up so handy so I had to tuck it in okay so in here I put um, more little goodies the playing cards uh, mini playing cards and a little note card if I had a world of my own, everything would be nonsense. Nothing would be what it is, because everything would be what it isn't, Alice. Um, you know what, sometimes I'm thinking I am Alice. First of all, I'm always late. <laughs> and I put some flowers in there, you know, in glistening bag there. So that's gonna be nice, you know, little gifty. And uh, then I was using this tiny rosettes um, in uh, the um, wand and uh, in other places. And this is Wild Orchid Craft Roses. And I uh, gifted a bunch to the recipient. So that's kind of really cute, uh, tucked in, you know, um, gift in there so mm. all right so the um, envelope itself so um, I created another corrugated uh, pocket uh, to um, you know to um, create another pocket using this image um, and on the back of the card I die cut it um, Tim Holtz uh, clock and it's for one for this last movie you know the Alice you know T whatever the name of it you know where she goes and you know chases time and I put the bread in and it yeah it, it moves so I love um, you know uh, things that moving so I don't like flat dimension all right and um, this is the drum roll people uh, seriously that tag the jumbo tag is to die for okay so let me put that aside and show you envelope one more time okay really cute came out so darling I cannot even express how I'm pleased with with this outcome okay so here is my tag jumbo tag okay. I have to move it all out because it's disturbing right 
Is it? Or not? It shouldn't. I always admire people who can, you know, place things right away, you know, right way and what's not. Okay. I think that's good. Good enough, right? Now, on to the tag. This is very 3D, pop-up, moving, um, wobble, and pull out. That's all in this one tag. All right, so should I zoom in so you can see better? All right, let's start from the top. That is the um, that is actually the digitalized smaller uh, that image of the book that I was talking telling you that Alice was cut it out of and you don't see her in here but you see the cut out floor in here Alice was standing in here so what I did I created a digital collage excuse my reach So that's the book. I cut out Alice and inserted um, this image. Okay. So this is going on to my other project that I'm trying to work on. Um, anyway. So I downsize it to this to the size of the tag. Um, I recorded uh, it's gonna be in two different videos uh, all the dimensions and pop-ups and stick outs for this tag. So I'm gonna briefly go over it. Uh, stay tuned for the uh, process videos on um, elements of this tag. It's going to be much easier for you to understand what I've done. So, um, basically this is downsized uh, uh, the image of the book, okay? And uh, digitalized and um, uh, then I uh, use the uh, uh, wobbly uh, uh, wobbly uh, springs uh, DIY wobbly strings that I made myself um, you can as I said stay tuned for the tutorial you will know how to make those um, and this one is popped up this one is popped up some of them are glossy and stuff uh, the queen is tucked. She was printed out first and fuzzy cut. Uh, the same goes with the teacups. Uh, they just been uh, fuzzy cutted and tucked in. So uh, that card is sticking out. The tab for the tea is sticking out. It is very, very um, dimensional. Okay, going down, um, this is the um, image of Alice that I absolutely love. She's steampunk Alice and um, I found her on Pinterest and I used her already um, several times in my projects. I absolutely love her and she's wobbly, she's a wobble. Alice. Uh, behind her there is a um, steampunk rabbit on the helicopter. Well he is a helicopter rabbit and he's wobble too but the wobble didn't come out really nice so he's kind of whatever. Um, 
so I digitally uh, collage the background behind the book uh, her on uh, here and um, the flower pot it's almost like Mackenzie but it's not uh, so and I uh, printed it twice and I cut out all other elements that I want so that's basically what it is um, the background is the uh, palace of the White Queen and on the bottom I just put the string of pearls so that's all kind of like here okay uh, the back side let me show you fully. Yes, Matt Hatter, we uh, see Cat, Cheshire Cat, and on and on. So, let me zoom in again. Here's our darling Matt Hatter. I fuzzy cut him and um, use the glossy accents to you know activate the highlights in his head uh, eyes some hair lips you know so it will you see that shimmer yeah so that's that okay and it goes down it's on on a background of the uh, like um, park and here's talking flower in here we're gonna get to this later let's look up so here's the wobbly uh, Cheshire cat and he wobbles on uh, the down the rabbit hole clock he's not wobbling really good isn't he Oh well, touche. <laughs> so, and this um, image I found um, on internet. This beautiful whimsical teapot with the flamingo sticking out and the little mouse in there. So, it was screaming to me, Alice in Wonderland. So, but this part of the tag is pull out tag you can see the little uh, yarn going in here okay so let me zoom out a little bit Oop. out out All right just out a little bit okay so if I will pull mad header out of the way there is a door that Alice open okay and this is the white rose okay so there can you see what's going on in there yay Matt Hatter nothing but here is the Mad Hatter in here so this is the pull out um, tag and the way you put it back you just slide it back be sure your yarn is in here all intact then you close the door to the Wonderland and bring the mad hatter to cover it all <laughs> so uh there it is my um alice in wonderland extravaganza i would call it extravaganza i don't know about you guys but uh, this is like uh superb uh even to me project Trying to put it all together for you guys. So 
yes I hope my recipient will enjoy her um, you know her little goodies here and you know um, I hope um, she loves um, my creations um, Alice in Wonderland is one of my the most favorite things um, in the world really um, I'm I sometimes I'm thinking I am Alice in Wonderland really <laughs> I am an Alice so there you go uh, thank you so very much uh, for your kind comments and uh, time that you're spending with me uh, please go ahead check and escape uh, we are gonna be closing by the end of this month for a long extended summer vacation and we will be open only in November so it's time for you to stock up on things that you wanted all right um otherwise uh i'll again stay tuned for the uh, process videos on the um all the 3d effects that i use on this tag and i'll talk to you later if you would like to stay tuned for the pictures after a stay and i'll talk to you later bye bye
Thank you.